automotive world is wondering what's under the hood of the hottest racing game ever. That's what one magazine called Gran Turismo from Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated. We went across the Pacific to give PlayStation Underground members a sneak peek. Finding the development team wasn't hard. Most of the members barely get out of the office. Many have been working on this title exclusively for two to three years. Compared to others, I get to go home more often. Although in most cases, I just go there to take a shower. I went home two days ago. I usually go home twice a week. I've been planning this game for six years, but there was no technology right for it until Sony released the PlayStation. At that point, I felt very lucky. We assembled this team as we created Motor Tune 1 and 2. Those games were experiments for certain features in Gran Turismo. I wanted to make the ultimate racing game for motorsports in automobile culture. It has over 120 real cars with dozens of customization options in eight different categories. 11 racing tracks are included. I did the main programming. We take car physics to a new level. For example, if you make a minor adjustment in suspension, a car tilts differently in the corners. Each car is modeled to handle just like its real-life counterpart. We measured and simulated to the degree of millimeters. I know of no other racing game that has gone this far. My job was adding reflections to the cars that appear to occur in real time, using environmental mapping technology. There are tons of racing games out there, but they have just pictures of cars. I think ours is the first one where you get the feeling that the actual car is there in the game. My partner and I are responsible for capturing the car sounds. We needed the real sound of different cars and recorded over 40. I was the one who got into the passenger seat with the DAT recorder and the microphones. I've probably done close to 200 laps on the speedway. The big challenge was where to put the microphones. One went inside the hood, the other went in the trunk, as close to the exhaust pipe as possible. I put the best car I ever owned in the game. I bought it just after college, a Nissan R32 Skyline GTR. Unfortunately, in real life, my car passed away after a huge crash. I feel like crying when I see it in the game. I was taking a turn at 130 miles per hour and tail slid three to 400 yards, bouncing rail to rail. When I finally stopped, the entire piece of the car in front of me was gone. <laughs> I don't have a car now, but the great thing about this game is you can try out lots of cars and decide what you want. It's a simulator for car buyers. That's what's happening behind the scenes at Gran Turismo. 